Time for the first ride. to get on the fast new bike. I'm heading up the hill here. It's kind of a steep grade, but this thing has plenty of torque to pull me right up the hill. You can see the speedometer at 40. I'm increasing speed pretty quick, and I'm not really pushing it because, uh, you know, I'm still in the break in 600 miles. Uh, anyway, yeah, she's she sails along pretty good. Um, real nimble feel to it. It's very light. The clutch is light. Everything about it is very easy. That's guess uh, be the best way to describe it. The suspension is soft, but it just you know, floats along the road. It's almost like it's uh, airborne, just uh, gliding right along. Um, the windshield, I do like the windshield, although it's it's not like, uh, you know, it's not comparable to a big windshield on a Harley or, a, you know, a Batwing bike or something like that. Not even close. But it does break down the wind a little bit. It keeps, it, keeps you a little bit more protected, probably, which I do like. Yeah, it is cruising right along. It's uh, not a problem at all. Shifted up and down. So I was doing on this, this secondary road. The speed limit through here is 55. I was doing 53 at this point. 54. I don't really step it up too much yet. Uh, I didn't want to get carried away. Coming into corners was really just pretty easy on it. Just a lot of fun. It just just uh, kind of just think where you want it to go when it goes there. It's very, very easy to handle bike. I'm really surprised at how easy actually. Yeah, my first impression of riding this bike is really, really quite pleasurable. It's really very nice. I like it. Of course, you know, it's the first new bike I've been on, and I can't tell you how long. It's been a long time. But even still, I really can't find anything really uh, I don't like about it. I did wonder about this though, riding along and uh, you know, I usually do the uh, motorcycle salute, you know, you can see it, I didn't get one back, I don't know, <laughs> the CRF rally does not warrant getting a motorcycle salute, I don't know, anyway, I didn't care, I was having too much fun. Here I'm riding past the uh, Mormon monument, it's where Joseph Smith uh, had supposedly pulled the tablets, the golden tablets, out of the Susquehanna River and started transcribing. A little cemetery here, There's, they do tours and stuff. It's, uh, it's kind of a neat little area. And right up the street is the Penn Can Speedway on the right. You can see the sign there. That's where they do dirt track racing every Friday night. A lot of different events Saturday night. They've kind of revitalized it. It's a, it's a good thing for the community. I'm going to shoot up one of the side streets in town. It's uh, Yes, believe it or not, we have dirt side streets in this town. And I, st I still have friends who wonder why I got a dual sport bike. Uh, <laughs> but it's an actual dirt road. Yeah, it's, it's just on the outskirts of town, but it's, it leads right into uh, Oakland. So from here, I'm going to ride over and uh, pop in on Connor, see what he's up to. I say dirt road, I mean it. I mean, there's... Uh, potholes, chuck holes, whatever you want to call them, everywhere. Uh, it's kind of a rough road. It's almost like being off-road. It's uh, pretty bad. Well, okay, now we're on the hard top again, so things have smoothed out quite a bit. 
Of course, we're in Pennsylvania, so, you know, even, even the hard tops are tough in the pothole state. One of the things I like about a small town is uh, everybody's pretty neighborly. I mean, you know, you run into this quite frequently. But no problem, I'll just scoot right around them. Nimble little bike, I can just uh, ride right around them. Nobody's bothered, Nobody, no harm, no foul. out of the way, blow the starter up at eight miles. See you later, buddy boy. Say bye, Grandpa. Bye, Grandpa. Bye, bye buddy. Grandpa. Bye. Bye, 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 little buddy. Like me. Let's see, where am I going to go now? So I decided to go up Oak Hill. Heading down the street right now, just riding along, and wow, this thing's just so light. It feels so light. I mean, aside from the seat being so incredibly hard, at this point, my butt was killing me, and I don't know, it's eight miles. <laughs> but yeah, it's just very light bike. Very light. So this is Oak Hill. It's uh, pretty steep. Uh, no problem, though. Plenty of power to go up the hill. Seems like it likes to run up above 2,000 RPMs, you kind of get down below that, you start chugging, and I don't like that. I don't want to do that, especially during break-in. So, I'm going to just kind of zip right up the hill. I'll try to keep it in, uh, I can't see what gear I'm in. I'll try to keep it, in, it was in fourth gear at this time, going up this hill. No problem. Kind of had it in a sweet spot on the RPMs, you know, 2,500, 2,000, 2,500, right around there. Uh, just zip right up the hill. It's a really nice little back road. It has uh, Goes around the other side of the mountain and it comes back. Go back to the road I was on before, the 171, which is a main main road. So I'm just cruising along. You know, 35, 40 miles an hour. It's a 35 mile an hour road. Um, don't want to push it too hard, you know, don't want to let it break in, get that first 600 miles under its belt. Want to break it in, want to break me in, get get back to using the, riding a small bike like this. And uh, I got to tell you, it's just uh, nothing but fun, really, really enjoying it. And I filmed this, this was about a month ago, because now we're in November, it's almost Thanksgiving, but uh, yeah, it's <laughs> the leaves on the trees are gorgeous, and it's just, uh, just a gorgeous day to be out riding a motorcycle. Doesn't take long around here to get back into the dirt, which is uh, which is fine. This is the rest of the way down until I get uh, up over by Hawkins Pond area. It's going to be all dirt roads now. A um, little sketchy. The roads are a little bit. They use a heavy gravel, so it kind of rolls around under the tires quite a bit. But really feels quite stable. Not having any problems at all. Just cruising along, kind of staying back a little bit from all, all the dirt and dust from this truck. But that's fine. That's part of the game. He actually pulls over and lets me pass, which is kind of nice of him. Now I know him, it's Bubba. <laughs> and I just kind of cruise along now and uh, I get her up to about 40. No problem, just hangs right on the road, sticks right there. That soft suspension everybody complains about really kind of makes it nice for when you're riding on a road like this. I think it's really geared towards that. This is a nice section of that dirt road. It's really uh, quite smooth, taking it right up to just about 50 miles an hour. Um, yeah, let her go. Right in line, real nice. So, no problem. Got a little gravelly here, so I took her back down to about 30. All right, through here, I'm just about to head my way to the top of the hill here. 
but pretty soon it's going to be all downhill. <laughs> so it's all going to be downhill from here. There's absolutely only one complaint. I think it's got decent power. It's got decent torque for sure. It was nice. This thing right, runs great. 18 miles on it, and the only complaint I have is this seat is harder than hell. And there's, what I'm hearing is these seats are actually a little softer than the KLX seat, but I don't know. Beautiful bike, I love it. Really nice. Yep, I even got bugs on the windshield, that's good. 18 miles, still got the tips on the tires. Well, fellas, that's about all I got to tell you about the bike for now. I, I like it, I'm glad I bought it. Should have bought one 30 years ago. <laughs> but then it wouldn't be this one. It wouldn't be fuel injected or an electric start. That's really the big reasons I, I went new, is I just wanted to find something that I know is gonna fire up and start, and I don't gotta monkey around with it so much. I got a lot of other projects where I, I work on stuff and I get them running and that kind of thing. I like to have one thing I can just get on and go. So, it's gonna be that bike for right now. Uh, thanks for watching, like and subscribe. Hope you enjoyed the video, and see you on the next one.